Hey everybody, it's Bobby B here coming at you with another great video of mine. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about this 2007 Toyota Prius having an issue with the heater control valve. Uh, we got an engine code P1121. Um, something's going on with the heater control valve. Either it's not working, it's stuck, it's not correctly working on it. Uh, my particular car, the heat's working just fine on it, so I'm pretty sure it's probably just the sensor inside of it that's bad. Alright, as always, make sure you uh, hook a diagnostic scanner up to your car to make sure it's good to go. And as you can see, we got the famous P1121 code showing up on there. Uh, and the heat does work on the car. So, we're going to take a look at it. Heater control valve is right down there. Alright, once you get the, uh, the cover off of there, uh, then you can get down to it. You got, uh, you got a nut right there, and then you got a bolt. 10 millimeter, millimeter holding the bracket on there. Take those out first. And once that's out of your way, you have enough play where you can move it around and uh, pull it up and get your clamps and stuff off. All right, after you got your bolts out of the way and you, you can actually move it, then you can uh, start with your top hose and take it loose. Uh, oh yeah, both these two hoses on this side, one's got a a marker a little dot the other one's a straight line on the bottom there so that lets you know which way they go back on so you you don't get confused when you're putting it back together so just remember that dot goes on top and uh i didn't have to take nothing else loose uh you can just get it with a pair of uh vice grips here that worked out best for me so once you get your bolts and stuff out of the way you can pull this up high it's still a little bit of a pain to get that clamp off, but it can be done. It's just, once you get those two off, you're going to definitely need to go from the bottom to get that bottom hose loose, which you could just jack it up and then you're good to go. All right, we've got the uh, heater control valve here. You can go ahead and hook your hose up to the bottom there. I need a third hand. I ain't going to be able to record that while I do it. You're going to hook it back up. Then you're going to feed it back up in there. You know. And then once it's up in there. Then you can uh, hook your uh, other two hoses. And plug it up and bolt it back in there. Alright. Once you got it uh, pushed back up in there. It's just, it's just dangling up in there. Then you. That's all you got to do for the bottom now. <clears throat> And then from the top, you'll just hook your bottom hose back up and then hook your top hose in and then you'll just bolt it back up in there. All right, well that wraps up everything. Uh, we put the new heater control valve in there and it's all working good. Uh, they cleared the code, code stayed away. The uh, car is operating fine. Uh, biggest thing, after you put the uh, part in there to make sure you burp the system uh, I got another video on how to do that uh, just make sure you like and subscribe to my channel thank you Bobby B out